Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm excited because this came to the post, to the post, in the post. You know what's in here because obviously you click the thumbnail and you know what this is about. Because I've seen it all over the internet and my concealer was running low and I really like my concealer, my Pat McGrath concealer. And I wanted to see if this is amazing because it's new and I like new shiny things and I'll see. So it came in this little box like this with these samples. I have a By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Primer. I'm not one for primers usually, but I am going to give this one a try because By Terry products are so expensive for my budget. I also have some samples here with the concealer itself in three different shades. The one that I picked is 200 Natural, what I have in my box here. This is how it looks like. And I'm very excited to swatch this on. I've ordered this concealer from By Terry because one, my one is running low. I also consider the By Terry concealer because I really like their foundation, that stick foundation. I've been using it almost every day. I love that thing. It just gives me luminosity. It doesn't cover a lot, but it's buildable and I really love this. So I thought if I love this product then, and I also have the powder that I love as well and a lip gloss, which is like a lip balm is so hydrating I think I have it on and then on top of this I have some Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss as well but that by Terry one it would be enough to give me the shine and the moisture so I love the by Terry products that I have so far in my kit in my makeup collection and I thought I would try this too these are all the shades that this concealer comes in there are just six shades but on the website by Terry website it says that they're auto adaptable to someone's skin tone Okay, so I want to swatch these uh, concealers for you here. So the first shade up here is 200 natural, the one that I have. The second one in the middle is 300 medium, medium fair, sorry. And the 600, which is the last one, it's dark. So I'm going to open the box. Oh, it's so chunky. I didn't expect it to be so chunky. I don't know why. It has 6.3 grams. I'm going to open this up and swatch it. And I won't be doing my makeup today with it, but you will know the difference because in the next footage it will be the next day and I will do that then for you. But let's swatch it and see our first impression. Wow, it has a brush on. Uh, it's, I mean, I kind of seen that, but I just forgot about that. Uh, yeah, interesting. I've, I don't think I've ever had a concealer with a brush on. And it has the button, which I've seen in videos that people press, press it to release the product so oh oh it came uh, out yes it just uh it just popped out right now and let's swatch this baby oh it's so soft yeah i would be applying it like that and blending it with my finger or whatever a brush or something interesting okay so this is 200 natural looking at it I mean, I think this is going to be a good shade. I'm not sure. I I would have preferred it to be more yellow based on the tone because that Pat McGrath one that I have is more yellow based and I noticed that I learned that my skin is more has yellow undertone, so it looks better when I have a yellow undertone to my foundation or concealer. I'll see when I put it on and I do my makeup with it but let me see what this product claims to do first and then we'll move on to the next section where I actually put it on and use it on my face. It's just almost like it's not, not there. It looks like it disappeared on my hand. Yeah so we'll see how this will do because it doesn't look like we'll have a lot of coverage you know let's hope it's buildable even though i don't like a lot of product under the eye area so let's hope this is a good one because for the price i could have remained with 10 pounds if i would have gotten the pat mcgrath again so i'm a bit nervous with this one but i will read what the product claims to offer our skin so it says that it disguises dark circles plumps and blurs brightens and protects yeah i like these claims 
and it's a vegan formula, long lasting, formulated as skincare. The hyaluronic hydrogen concealer is your new secret weapon to both blur imperfection and take care of the sensitive eye area. Star starring hyaluronic acid, this skincare concealer fully hydrates, blurs imperfections, brightens dark circles, and smooths fine lines, erasing signs of fatigue. It says that it is available in six auto adaptable shades. Uh, I don't want to comment on that because I don't know how does that technology works when a shade auto adapts to someone's skin tone. So what does hyaluronic acid do for our skin with this product? It locks moisture into skin, smoothing and plumping out fine lines while boosting el elasticity. Smartly combined with horse chestnut seed extract that stimulates the microcirculation. Dark circles are instantly brightened. Micro vessels are less visible. The skin looks even. Hydrophobic coated pigments ensure a long lasting, loomy matte finish, while the mineral coated powders complex provides a soft focus, mattifying effect for a silky second skin feeling. Vegan formula again. Okay, so it basically says nice things that you want to hear that this concealer will do for me but i want to see if it's gonna give me that coverage that brighten effect i mean i don't have a lot of dark circle under my a lot of darkness but i do have a little purpley hues here in the inner corner like that and i do like how the pat mcgrath one looks on my skin i mean what do you think what do you think i have pat mcgrath on today and actually i'm just gonna grab it to compare the shades together in case you happen to be similar skin tone with me, maybe this will be helpful. The fact that I'm going to compare these two concealers in shade. So, Pat McGrath L3 and by Terry is in 200 natural. So, I'm going to pop them both on my hand. This is the Pat McGrath one. And what don't I do for you guys? Because I don't have a lot of this left and I'm putting it on my hand. And I'm gonna pop this again. Oh, oh, it comes quite a big blob when uh, you push this. <gasps> I don't know why I'm so shocked because I've seen it earlier. It's just that when I see it next to this one that I've been loving so much, it's clear to see that the shade of this by Terry one is more pink undertone than the Pat McGrath one. And I do prefer the Pat McGrath undertone, which is yellow. I am nervous to be honest i am gonna blend them a bit with my finger and see the coverage that i can get i know the pat mcgrath one stretches so amazingly well a little bit from pat mcgrath and you have coverage and it stretches on a large area i loved this concealer and this by terry i just did a little bit and it's already blended into not as much coverage as the pat mcgrath offers me that being said, I do know that the benefits for the skin might be really good according to what By Terry website says about their product. But in terms of when I put makeup on, I, I expect to have the coverage that I want and the brighten effect. So with the brightening effect, we'll see when I apply it on. But with the coverage, I don't think this is going to live up to my expectations. But I do understand the benefits that By Terry offers to the skin. My personal opinion, thinking about it, is that I can get the skin benefits and the hyaluronic acid or whatever I want to give my skin from my skincare, from my moisturizers at night, my under eye cream or serums, whatever I use in my skincare routine. But from makeup, personally, I expect it to cover, because that's why I put makeup on, to cover my redness, to even out my skin tone, to cover my dark circles. But I'm going to really see now in the next footage when I apply this. So let's see. I'm nervous. Now I'm going to apply this concealer and see what this is about. Actually, this has a brush, so maybe I'll just blend with my finger. I'm still confused. I don't know. I've never had a concealer with a brush on, so... Oh my god, that's a lot. <laughs> it just popped it out. Just gonna apply on both eyes, because it seems like a lot to me. And that's how I apply concealer anyway, in these areas. And it seems like so much that I don't know what to do with it. So I have to do this, kind of distribute this product everywhere. It's just so much. I don't know if I could just uh, mix this with this brush because it has too much product. So I feel like that's it, you know. 
it's a lot that's come out, coming out so I'm gonna try with my fingers first it's very moist oh, very wet because um, I feel the need to take a brush actually this real techniques fluffy one I don't know I just want to use a brush no I don't know if a small one like this will do I feel like I want a bigger brush I'm gonna put a bit on the lid because and I still have on my finger a bit. Uh, first of all, first impression is that it does have some coverage. I expected less from it somehow and I've seen it swatched next to the Pat McGrath one that has a lot of coverage. So it does do really well. I tell you what, with the brush actually it took away from the product a bit more. Here is more coverage so I think the coverage would be better if I just blend with my finger. But because it was so much of it and here definitely with the brush. It's very light, it's very, I don't know, um, it feels very liquidy once it comes out and um, and my head I'm comparing it with the Pat McGrath because I like it so much or even NARS. They have a bit more coverage, the Pat McGrath one, I would say, and the NARS one. This is more sheer and you see because I took a brush here, it just lifted the product a bit more and I have more coverage on this eye that I did with the finger here as well, like that. So I actually have more coverage on this eye, I think. My first impression is that it's very sheer. It has a bit of a coverage. It doesn't have as much as my loved concealers, the Pat McGrath NARS ones that I've used in the past and I really liked. But I didn't expect it to cover like that. But at the same time, I am pleased because it, it does have a bit of coverage. So if you're someone that doesn't need a lot of coverage, then you might like this product. I'm gonna continue applying the rest of my makeup, uh, meaning I'm gonna set uh, everything and I'm gonna link, I'm gonna put in the description box what I use, just so you know, and come back to you at the end and tell you how it looks. And also I'm going to keep you updated throughout the day with how it behaves, if it creases, how it stays on and stuff like that. So the, my makeup is done, I'm going to look throughout the day and show you uh, to see how this concealer is going to be. I don't expect it to disappear or something like that, but because uh, it's by Terry and anything I had from by Terry, I don't have a lot of products from by Terry, but I like what I have and I have faith and they're also quite pricey and therefore I don't think it's going to be a bad product. Um, what I'm looking for is to see if it creases. That's what I want to see. In terms of coverage, I already decided and I think you could see that too. I know I didn't put them next to the Pat McGrath, the one that I'm using at the moment that I have. That's my only concealer that I use uh, except for this by Terry one today because I don't buy a lot of products until they run out. I wanna use what I have. I'm trying to actually not over buy stuff. The thing is that I didn't put them next to each other. I could see that the coverage of this by Terry concealer is not as strong as the Pat McGrath one for example or the NARS one that I used to use or for example I used to use the Maybelline one it's a chunky one with the wand I don't know how it's called but that Maybelline concealer had really good coverage as well so I'm obviously comparing it in my mind with what I have used previously so I could see the coverage is not a lot but I know that this is meant to be more of a like beneficial product for your skin and if you don't need a lot of coverage for your under eye area then you might like this product because it's supposed to be really hydrating has a lot of skin benefits so if you don't need that coverage then you might like it but if you do need the coverage then this might not be the concealer for you the older we get and our skin matures the less product on our face makes us look younger at least that's what I noticed. So this concealer, I might end up really loving it and I might not want another one uh, until this one runs out because I do get bored with products and I want to switch for that reason. So the only thing left, let's see how it does throughout the day. Mm. This is after about three hours because it's four o'clock and I've applied this makeup at about one. So this is how the concealer is looking so far. I actually haven't looked myself. I just turned on the camera. So let me see. Okay, I looked in the mirror and I'm actually very impressed because it looks like skin. I don't know, it just... Um, the other ones that give me more coverage, as much as I love them for the coverage, as I said, uh, they feel like... I don't know, you, you feel like you see it. You see makeup on. I don't know how to explain that better than this. But this looks natural, like it's my skin, but better. 
which only can be it only can be a plus is that how you say it in english which can only be a plus that's how you say it yeah it just looks really really natural i actually love it for someone like me that doesn't need a lot of coverage as i said i think this is a really good uh, it works really good for me because it gives me the hydration i mean the the skin looks hydrated it feels wonderful it doesn't feel like i have anything on under the eye i mean in terms of how it feels on um and yeah it just uh i mean you can see i have fine lines because i'm over 30 but i like the look of it because it looks very hydrated and natural so so far after three hours i like how it looks looks really nice what do you think after three hours i know it's just after three hours but so far it looks really natural and lovely so i love it so far we'll see until nine o'clock i don't think it's gonna crease i mean i do have faith in by terry but we'll see we'll see so it's now 10 to 1 a.m it's very late i didn't plan to keep my makeup on my face for so long but i've been watching tv and um yeah but my makeup looking in the mirror right now I can say it looks like skin. I didn't expect this to be really noticeable still on my face and look, you know, because when I first applied it and even after those three hours, um, it's, it looked quite natural and skin-like. So I expected it to look kind of like this, like it very politely vanished. <laughs> and I say very politely because the result that remained behind, it, it's not like it's a... A product in between the fine lines you can't see it it's like it just melted politely I don't know how else I can describe that melted graciously into the skin and just looks like it looks much better like overall the makeup you know than it would uh, I mean it covers much better how can I put this it just covers a bit much better than how I would look in the next few minutes when I'm gonna remove all the makeup you know it's just gonna really look like no makeup at all I actually can say that the foundation vanished more than the seeing the cheeks here the redness a bit than the concealer so for a concealer that has a really sheer application like sheer coverage you know i feel like it's really uh, delicate and you know it has those skin benefits but it's not necessarily you don't get like the punch of coverage like you get with other concealers even though it seemed like that i can still see some sort of coverage under my eye area if you look and i like it i like it this foundation i um this concealer i stay by what i said is perfect for people that don't need a lot of coverage and for those no makeup makeup looks days my uh, skin looks still hydrated it doesn't look like it's been dried out or anything by me having this on my face it actually looks like it's skin like so overall i like it and i will see along the days to form a more you know clear opinion this is my first impression kind of test wear so thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell and the like button if you liked it and leave me a few comments down below telling me what you think if you have it what is your impression if you're thinking of getting it or what is your favorite concealer and why please let me know because i'm looking all the time for new products that perform really well and are hydrating cover you know so I'll see you in my next video. Bye! You always make me